Well, the Murfreesboro Apple Festival officially kicks off this evening with opening ceremony and it's something the city and residents are always looking forward to. Even last year, you know, things had to be put on hold until this year, so it makes this year even sweeter. Well, there's plenty of fun happening <laughs> over the four day event. Brooke Slyer is live this morning giving us a sneak peek. Brooke. Yeah, good morning, Evie and Dave. Well, right now I'm in downtown Murfreesboro where the festival will be celebrating 70 years in the community. Let me tell you, that's a really long time. Things are set up this morning, but we are on the stage right now that's covered because we did feel a few raindrops. And one of the things that is set up is the bakery. So joining me first this morning is Sandra. Sandra, people really look forward to buying their baked goods here at the Apple Festival. What do you guys have this year? Uh, we will have, of course, apple pies. We'll have turnovers, danishes, strudels, streusel, lots of good things to eat, whether you're a ooey gooey or a light and flaky. That all sounds really good this morning. I could use a little sugar to keep me going this morning. And what times will people be able to check out the bakery? During lunch hour, we'll be open from 11 to 2, and then in the evenings from 5 to 9, Wednesday and Thursday. Friday, we open a little earlier from 4 to 9, and then Saturday, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. So lots of opportunities for people to come out and get their baked goods. And I think you said some of this stuff is pre-ordered. So they pick it up there at the bake bakery as well? No, we do pre-orders for businesses. Okay. Mm -hmm. So a little different for the people who actually want to come to the festival. Just go ahead and stop at the bakery and get the baked goods then. Yes, it'll be available for everything that they want. All right, perfect. Sounds good. And also joining me this morning is Linda. And if you can't no notice on television, they uh, resemble each other a little bit because they are actually mother and daughter. So, Linda, tell me what it means to be, you know, working with your daughter during this festival. Uh, it's pretty awesome to have a close relationship to do things with her. And I'm sure there's a lot of people who kind of, you know, resemble that and, you know, can kind of understand that feeling. They like to come to the Apple Festival together with their uh, family. So we're talking a little bit more about the Apple Festival coming up later in the show. And so far, no wet weather moving through the Murfreesboro area. That could change later this morning. We've been uh, tracking quite a few showers and storms gradually working their way to the south and east. Uh, waking up this morning, live views from across the area from Paducah. Right now it's 70. Perryville, you guys have seen a little bit of wet weather. Carbondale, not much rain yet. Sparta's uh, seen a little bit of rain as well. 69 degrees at this hour there. We continue to watch the showers and the storms work their way to the south and east. By this afternoon, most of the storm activity will be focused across western Kentucky. It's along a cold front. I'll tell you more on what that means for us coming up. Still to come, want to enjoy a picnic on the water but don't own a boat? Well, this man <laughs> says no.